Hi everyone! In this quick tutorial, you'll learn how to create a simple yet fail-safe PLC program for water level control with tuning fork sensors and solenoid valves. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Two tuning fork level sensors for high-low detection, a solenoid valve for water inlet control, start-stop push buttons for manual override, and PLC as the brain of the operation. Here's what we're building. We have a water tank with two tuning fork level sensors placed at high and low levels. These sensors detect the water level and send signals to the PLC inputs, I0.0 and I0.1. I0.1 is the low-level sensor, while I0.0 is the high-level sensor. Our goal is to keep the water level between these two sensors. We also use two buttons to control the water refill process, start connected to I0.3 and stop connected to I0.4. Moreover, an inlet solenoid valve is connected to output Q0.0 for water supply. Everything is connected with proper water piping or tubing, and we're going to use PLC logic to automatically refill the tank when the water goes below the lower limit, and stop filling when the water reaches the upper limit. Before we dive into the program, let's quickly understand the tuning fork level sensors. Tuning fork level switches are vibration-based sensors. A piezoelectric crystal causes the fork to vibrate at a specific frequency. When the sensor's prongs are in air, they vibrate freely at their natural frequency. However, when submerged in liquid like water, the frequency drops. This frequency shift triggers an internal relay, giving you a discrete switch output signal, perfect for PLC inputs. This makes tuning fork sensors highly accurate and resistant to foam, turbulence, or material buildup. More importantly, they provide instant response that's faster than float switches. That's why we use tuning fork sensors for our project. Now let's walk through the PLC logic step-by-step -step using a simple ladder diagram. Here we've integrated two level switches to I0.0, normally closed for high level, and I0.1, normally closed for low level, and start buttons normally open contact to I0.3, the stop buttons normally closed contact to I0.4. When you press the start button, internal relay M0.0 latches on. The solenoid valve Q0.0 opens, allowing water into the tank. As the water level rises to the lower limit, the normally closed contact of I0.1 opens, but the valve remains on due to self-holding, allowing the water level to rise continuously. When water reaches the upper limit, the high-level sensor triggers the input, I0.0, and the valve output turns off, stopping water inflow. As water is consumed and the level drops, the high-level sensor no longer detects water, I0.0 recloses, but the low-level sensor still detects liquid, I0.1 opens, so the valve remains closed. Once water falls below the low-level sensor, I0.1 activates, re-triggering the valve to refill water, ensuring a continuous water supply. Pressing the stop button unlatches M0.0, stopping the automatic refill process. And that concludes our demonstration of a simple PLC liquid level control program. Are you looking to build such a reliable PLC-based water tank level control system? Build your own with confidence using quality components from ATO.com. At ATO.com, we offer a full lineup of level sensors like tuning fork, radar, ultrasonic, capacitive, and submersible types with all materials and sizes. We also offer industrial PLCs from basic to advanced, solenoid valves with explosion-proof options available, start-stop push buttons in various colors and contact configurations, HMI panels for real-time monitoring, and a massive selection of automation products like VFDs, soft starters, servo drives, and motor controllers. Whether you're automating a tank system or scaling up your industrial control project, ATO has what you need ready to ship, highly reliable, and built to meet global standards. Visit ATO.com now to explore the catalog or request a free quote. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more practical PLC tutorials and automation tips. Got questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop a comment below. We love to hear from you. Go build something amazing with ATO.com.